easiest way to do it. And you're going to need one bit of information in order to do this successfully. Actually, two bits. I'll show you how to get both of them right here in iTunes. Right here inside, you need the EC ID number. And you're going to also have to know the kind of device that it is you have. Uh, what I mean by that is whether your device, when you plug it in, Okay, right up here at the top, you see it says model identifier. You're going to need that. iPhone 9.1. All right, that's telling me that on 10.3.1, I've got model 9.1. Okay, I've already saved the blobs for the iPhone 7. Now I'm going to hook up the iPhone 6, and we'll save the blobs for it. And I'll walk you through step by step what you have to do here to, to let me uh, show you how to do this too. So now on this one here, it's saying that it's an iPhone 9 one too, uh, and I can tell you that that's probably not correct. So let's go back out here, choose the iPhone 6, and right here, that's right, iPhone 7 2, okay, because this one is on 10 2, all right? So we're, no, we're going to need to know the model identifier, and we're also going to need to, to copy the ECID number, just right, just left click or right click on it, click copy, and then go back over. You can close iTunes out now. Open up the tsssaver.onconan.com link. It'll be in the description below. Leave that on hex, paste in your ECID number, and then come down here and choose the iPhone si uh, 7 2, uh, which is the 6 right here the iPhone 6 all right that's what I'm running but it was the iPhone 7 2 model identifier and then all you have to do guys is click submit and it'll give you a link in about a minute or so it takes for this to save or maybe not that long but you can see up there at the top that it's done saving the ECID for iPhone 7 2 now we're going to take this a step further further we're going to go a step further did you all catch that? I'm going to open this in a new tab. And when it comes up, I'm going to save this to my drive.